The human body is a remarkable thing, but if you've spent any amount of time living inside of one, you know that it comes with some flaws. In fact, Nautilus Magazine recently made a list of the top 10 design flaws in the human body. So our evolutionary ancestors used to have such nice spines. Arched, curved, balanced, all of the buzzwords you would use to try to sell overpriced Nikes. But then, a few million years ago, someone got the bright idea that humans should become bipedal. We should walk on two legs. And as you can see, as a result, our spines began to straighten into a column, and this had some unintended consequences. Because as you can see, our spines actually did not straighten all the way. They had to remain curved in part to support our massive heads. And this has led to all kinds of issues like neck pain, back pain, and scoliosis. So the next time someone at work tells you that you are the backbone of the company, they either don't understand how spines work or they really hate you. Number nine, we have our knees. Guys, the knees are not it. I mean, look at them. They can only bend in two directions. Imagine if instead of a hinge joint connecting our tibia to our fibula, we had a ball and socket instead. We could do this, except with our legs, which is, you know, cooler. Number eight, we got the pelvis. Now, I have done the research, I've read the literature, and I've concluded that childbirth is uh, quite painful. And one of the reasons is that the pelvis has not changed size in the last 200,000 years. If it's true that hips don't lie, then ask your hips if they're any good, and they will tell you no. No, we are not. We suck. Okay, number seven. I mean, you knew this one was coming. What are these doing? What are these guys doing just hanging out down here? It's like God made the human body and then realized he forgot to put the male reproductive organ in and was like, let's just sort of like, let's just sort of like pack it on there or like a, like a bow on like a hastily wrapped present or like the last season of Game of Thrones. It's just a, it's just a, 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 a lazy rushed afterthought. Number six is the arteries. Now this one makes my blood boil. As you can see, there is one main artery delivering blood to the front of the arms and the legs. But if you look here on the backside, it's a whole web of a mess of thing. It's not the most efficient transportation system. It's like the New York subway. Go with me on this. I live out here in Ridgewood, Queens, but if I want to go to Kebab Cafe in Astoria, I have to take the train all the way into Brooklyn, up through Manhattan, and back to Queens, because there's no artery connecting these two points in Queens. It makes no sense, much like our bodies. Anyway, part two tomorrow.